Hey, what's up guys and welcome back once again to Chris Aquariums. Today is an exciting day because we're going to be moving the goldfish into the new patio pond. But before we did that, we had a couple of things to do before. So we took a trip away and I saw some lily pads in a wild pond uh, or a lake and I thought this has to be in my patio pond. Okay, I've managed to get some. Now, this lake is absolutely filled, filled, filled with lily pads. So it's not going to be affecting the environment uh, or the ecosystem in any way. We're going to fill this up with water and we're going to hope that it survives the trip and the transfer. Once we got it back, I did do a salt dip just to make sure no parasites or snails or anything came along with the plant. Those lily pads are now in the pond, but before we got to the point where we could transfer the fish, we had to do some shopping, pick up some equipment for the pond. So it's a couple days after we got the lily pads, we come back from the trip away, and now I need to pick up some final equipment for the pond. So we're gonna pick up an air pump, a new air pump, and uh, a couple of other plants and some things that we'll do, but let's skip ahead to the store and let me show you the air pump that we're gonna get. So, to be honest, the whole pond build we've done so far has been really cost effective. Um, I mean, the tub was really cheap, uh, the filter was really cheap, and the rest of the stuff I already had. So it's been a pretty cheap process. I'll be honest, I did overspend a little bit on this air pump. Don't tell my girlfriend. Uh, but the reason is, you see, my old pump was losing power, losing its ability to push out air. And that's because it had a electric motor inside. This works on a magnetic motor. So although there were others, there was about 130, this was about 260. Uh, the theory is that it'll actually save me money in the long term. And also, I mean, it looks quite cool. Before. And after. Yes. So after we picked up the new air pump, I had to do a bit of work because this is going to be outside. So we're going to have electrical equipment and pond equipment out in the open, open to the weather. So I had to put together a weatherproof box so we could put in the electrical equipment. I'm just picking up one of these quick, but wait to see what we do with it. I also had to drill holes underneath the lid of the container so that air could come in for the air pump, but the weather and the rain couldn't come in through the top. doing right now is drilling some holes in this box underneath the lips so air can get in but rain can't. Finally, everything is put together and the pond is ready. Take a look at it now and it's about time to transfer the fish. So I'm gonna collect them, put them in bags so that we can acclimate them and let's get started with the transfer. This is exactly why these guys have to move. I mean, just massive. Okay, I need some hands to net these guys and put them in a bag, but let me show you them acclimating. So we know this one is a girl because as I picked her up and put her in the bag, she released some eggs. So that answers the question that I have wanted to know for a while. And this one I still don't know, but perhaps I'll sex it at some point. It has been 15 minutes and it's finally time to release the fish into the pond. I'm really excited. And guys, if you like this kind of stuff, ponds and fish keeping and aquariums, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like. But for now, it's time to release the fish into the pond.
Well, that's it for today, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I've just been sitting outside watching, and honestly, I have never seen them interact with a habitat like they are with this pond. They're going in between the plants and up and down. It just seems like they love it, and I love watching it. Uh, really incredible. So guys, that's it for this episode. As you know, with me, if you've been a fan of my channel for a while, I'll be tinkering and adding and removing things over time. And definitely there's going to be more footage as well as more footage from my 100 liter tropical tank. So until next time, I'll see you once again on Chris Aquariums. By the way, guys, look how good of a job this assassin snail is doing. This is his little lair over here, and you can just see all of the carcasses of Malaysian trumpet snails. Yeah, he's been doing a good job.